Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Coming to you from Central California today. Uh, Becca and I are on our way to Phoenix. We're going to drop her off for her sophomore year in college. Uh, so proud of all that she's accomplished so far. And trusting God will provide and help her through this year as well. Also grateful for the trip that God has given us so far. Uh, looking forward to uh, today and tomorrow as we continue south and then east tomorrow. Trusting that God will take care of us each step of the way. And we, of course, give him all the glory. Our word of encouragement comes from Exodus chapter 6, beginning at verse 2. God also said to Moses, I am the Lord. I appeared to Abraham, to Isaac, and to, God, and to Jacob as God Almighty. But my name, the Lord, I did not make myself known to them. I also established my covenant with them, to give them the land of Canaan, where they lived as aliens. Moreover, I heard the groaning of the Israelites, whom the Egyptians are enslaved me, and I have remembered my covenant. Therefore say to the Israelites, I am the Lord, and I will bring you out from under the yoke of the Egyptians. I will free you from being slaves to them, and I will redeem you with an outstretched arm and with a mighty act of judgment. You know, as I read these words this morning, I'm reminded that uh, it takes God to help us overcome. Now, it may not seem to be the same thing. We're here talking about the Israelites being enslaved to the Egyptians uh, and needing God's help. But for us, we often talk about being enslaved to our sin and needing God's help. You know, oftentimes in this world today, if people find themselves in sin, or, and it's especially addictive sins, they need extra help and that's why we have aa groups and ca groups and, and groups like that for people to go to and yet oftentimes even those groups speak of some kind of a higher power um, and in, in our case we know it's not just a higher power it's the god almighty and as god has remembered his covenant with the israelites and, and promises to release them from the bondage of the egyptians god has made a covenant with us through our lord and savior jesus christ that he will release us from our sins uh, if we choose him if we choose to be obedient to him that he'll help us through it now god doesn't say hey come to me and go fix yourself or go fix yourself and then come to me god says no come to me and i will give you rest come to me and i will help you come to me and i will sift you and refine you and do the things that need to be done why because we can't do it on our own we can't overcome sin on our own uh, a long time ago i worked with someone who had uh, given up smoking and, and been out of uh, and hadn't done it for 20 years and all of a sudden one day they picked up a cigarette they were right back at it uh, and not that they had done well they'd done very well um, but our sins can follow us and they can almost haunt us and we can easily pick them back up if we're not careful and that's where the Lord comes in when we come to God he can truly change us he can truly take those uh, tendencies those ad addictive tendencies away um, those desires away we can find true rest and salvation uh, from our sinful nature in fact, we believe in our church that, that there's a second process uh, of, of work called sanctification where that sinful nature is basically crucified. I give it over that you know God does in our lives as we seek Him so that we don't have to sin, so we don't have that drive to sin in our lives every day. But it's all about a relationship with the Lord. As we draw closer to Him, we get farther away from sin. For, for the Israelites, God was going to uh, take them out of the enslavement to the Egyptians if they would follow him and be obedient and he would be their God and they would be his people and he would protect them and provide for them and care for them. And God is promising us the same thing today, that if we walk away from our sins, if we decide that we no longer want to do that and we confess them and we follow God, he promises to give us that freedom. Praise God for that today. Praise God that we don't have to sin. Praise God that we don't have to be subject to uh, a sinful nature um, that enslaves us, that we can be free. And when we're free, then we want to share that with others. We want others to be free. I can only imagine, uh, I, I haven't had to deal with this personally, but I can imagine if I had a disease like cancer or something, I, I, I couldn't wait, you know, to hopefully overcome it, get rid of it, all the things that we pray for people, uh, really to have God remove it. And then the, and if I came up with a cure for it or, or found a way to get rid of it easily, I would want to share it with others. Uh, well, now that I'm no longer enslaved to sin, I want to share that with others as well. I want to share that I found freedom, that I found healing, that I found God. It doesn't mean life is perfect. It doesn't mean that I'm struggling. It doesn't mean God isn't still working on me after years and years of loving Him. It simply means that I'm obedient to God and I find my hope and my trust and my faith in God. I hope you do as well. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the opportunity we have to, to travel today and take Becca back to school. Thank you for watching over us thus far and we'll trust you to watch over us the remainder of the day. I also pray you watch over those who are watching this. Uh, I don't know what they have going on today, whether it's work or, or possibly school or, or whatever the case. But Lord, would you just bless them today? Would you answer their prayers and keep them safe? And Father, may they just set your presence in their life. Father, if there's any watching today who have not yet confessed their sins and called upon Jesus to be their Savior, may they do so right now. Or if they want to, may they call me that I might pray with them. Father, we just thank you for all that you're about to do in our lives today. 
May you not only bless us, but make us a blessing to others. And may you receive all the glory. Father, we thank you for all that you're about to do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, there you have it. God loves you. We love you as well. I trust you're going to have a great day. And we hope to see you tomorrow. God bless.